Let's sound with something bleak. Tom, what happened in the corner there? Do you have to relive that? It's, uh, it's just one of those moments where you've got too much time. I didn't expect such a perfect kick from Mike and I was waiting for it, waiting for it. It popped up nicely and then just, just heard him coming over, you know, to stop me. It's a panic. It's a, it's a shocker, that. It shouldn't be happening. Obviously, you say, you didn't expect to kick like that from Mike McMeekin, would you? No, never, but he absolutely nailed it and, you know, he, he said that he, he thought he completely expected me to score that, so got to hold my hand up there and say that that's, that's one that got away there. Best stuff at the other end, on a, a try saving tackle one you've helped. Yeah, just trying to, trying to do my job. We, we said about being competitive and relentless, and what we've got to do is we, we don't want them to score. And if someone makes a mistake, we cover for them. And that, that's my job at the back. The big boys do all the tackling in the middle, and we cover the backfield. They did quite a good job the forwards having again this week in, in protecting you all at the back. Yeah, hundred percent. You know they've they've got some some top NRL middles and our forwards stood up stood up to them every step of the way if not got over, got over the top of them and set the platform for us to do our stuff third test next week in Leeds do you fancy chances making a squad because obviously he's got a lot of decisions to make as the coach yeah it's a great squad um, I, you know I hope I get to play I'd, I'd love to play in all three it's it'd really finish my year in the way that you know I've, I've worked towards for the, for the past five years it's all I've thought about so yeah, I can only hope that I've done enough. Yeah, it's fair to say I've seen you in some difficult teams at Wakefield, but to play at this level with Catalans and England, it's, it's, been a, it's not been a bad year. Yeah, it's 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 been a, an absolute dream, you know, surrounded by the players what I have. Um, not no disrespect to anyone at Wakefield, but getting to play along the, the, the side of, you know, Jack Wellsby, at Catalans, Sam Tompkins, people like that, they're, they're, the, they're the best, some of the best players in the world, and it, it just makes your job a little bit easier. Has this helped you get over what happened in the grand final to be straight to camp with England? It's not the same, I know you're not comparing like we're like, but has it helped you get over Yeah, it? yeah, I was actually talking about this the other day, saying uh, it, it was you know, a bit of a pill to swallow, but I had two days and then I had to get on, get in the car and get up here to, to England for camp, and you know, it's, it's just such a great group, group to be around. Uh, I've enjoyed every minute, every week, so it, it you know, puts it down. <laughs> You mentioned last week, I think, after the game, how much hearing the national anthem meant to you last week, and that was the moment when you realised that that five years had been worthwhile. Did yeah. you get that same feeling today? Yeah, yeah. It's always, it's always passionate hearing the, the national anthem, seeing how much it means to everyone, and hearing your, you know, your fellow player beside you singing. I was stood next to Mike, who's a close friend, so it, it was, it was very special. But last week was, was the pinnacle for me. It just, it was, it wasn't like yes, I've done it, but. To be back here after all that time, it was special. How do you approach next week, bearing in mind that the series is won and that was the, the first aim of this? Do you want to go out now and play a slightly different style of rugby, maybe a bit more entertaining in terms of thrilling the crowd? Um, no, I think I think the job's just get it done, get get the three 0 That's what we set out for at the start of the start of camp, and uh, that's what we're going to try and do again. Uh, we're, like I said, clinical, relentless. That's what we're going to stick by. That's how, how England play, and that's how we're going to do it, and that's how we're going to work forward. What happens when this series is finished? How do you get some R and R? Are you off now until January? Or uh, yeah, I need to speak to to Catalans about that, but I think I'll I'll get a couple of quite a few weeks off. Um, go away with my family. I didn't get a honeymoon last year after the wedding because I just went straight into training at Catalans. So go away with my missus, my son, and just relax for a while.